In this film, the main resistance mechanisms known to us so far are presented. But first, let's take a look at how herbicides work in sensitive plants in principle. Various metabolic processes occur inside plant cells. These are regulated by enzymes and produce substances vital to the life of the plant, much in the manner of a conveyor belt system. The herbicide molecules penetrate into the plant cells, where they dock onto the enzymes, thereby inhibiting the metabolic process. The production of vital substances is brought to a halt, and the plant dies. In the case of target site resistance, the docking sites on the enzyme are altered by mutations. The herbicide active ingredient is not able to dock onto the enzyme. The metabolic processes are not inhibited, and the resistant plant is able to continue growing and will set seed. In the case of metabolic resistance, the plant is able to break the herbicide down into inactive components, enabling it to survive and continue setting seed. Another, slightly rarer, mechanism of resistance is known as compartmentalization. This mechanism enables the plant to compartmentalize the active ingredient in the cell into storage in certain parts of the cell, known as vacuoles. This prevents the herbicide from reaching the target site. As a result, the plant survives treatment with the herbicide. Mm -hmm. 